2010 Fort Wayne Firehawks season. The 2010 Fort Wayne Firehawks season was the first season for the Continental Indoor Football League CIFL franchise. In November 2009, the Firehawks were announced as the successor team to the Fort Wayne Freedom. Owners J. Michael Loomis and John Christner purchased the assets left from the Freedom franchise, who had played the two seasons before the Firehawks were announced. Christner's first action as general manager was naming former Freedom head coach Willie Davis as the team's first head coach. On December 9, 2009, it was confirmed that Loomis and Christner would take over the entities that used to run the Freedom. Before the season started, the team announced they had signed Katie H. Nita as the team's place kicker. H. Nita is best known for becoming the first woman to score a point in an in-call football game and speaking out during the recruiting scandal at her first school, the University of Colorado. According to the Journal Gazette in 2011, former players said they were still owed from the 2010 season. Team owner Mike Loomis did not confirm or deny the reports in that article. The team drew about 2,000 fans per game, according to CIFL stats. Players Signings Final roster Staff Schedule Regular season Standings Regular season results Week 4 vs Cincinnati Commandos The Firehawks suffered a loss in their first game as a franchise April 2, 2010, a 55-27 loss to the Cincinnati Commandos. During the game, the Firehawks also lost their quarterback, Adam Gibson, during the game, leaving the Firehawks searching for another quarterback before the next week. Week 5, vs. Miami Valley Silverbacks. The Firehawks earned their first victory April 10, 2010-44-28 against the Miami Valley Silverbacks. As new quarterback, Cota Carone Colors, paced the team with seven touchdown passes. Week 6 vs. Wisconsin Wolfpack Throughout the season, the team experienced many ups and downs, none lower than a 0-49 defeat at the hands of the Wisconsin Wolfpack. Three weeks into the season, the Firehawks received a blow when co-owner and general manager John Christner left the organization, leaving Loomis as the sole owner. Week 7, vs. Chicago Cardinals The Firehawks showed no effects from the front office problems, as the following week the team came out and defeated the Chicago Cardinals 69-45, but the team played without H. Nita, as a blood clot on her foot put her out for the season. Week 8, vs. Wisconsin Wolfpack Hack and Wolfpack The Firehawks got a quick chance at revenge against the Wolfpack, but they failed losing 32-33 as they couldn't score from the one-yard line with seconds left as backup quarterback Mike Whitaker's pass sailed over the hands of Jermaine Woolfolk. The Firehawks didn't dress a kicker during the game citing low ceilings as the reason not to dress the team's new kicker, David McLean, and in turn for the team. Week 9, B.S. Miami Valley Silverbacks, 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 Silverbacks. The Firehawks won their next game against Miami Valley, 26-8. Week 10, vs. Marion Mayhem, Marion Mayhem. During the week before the team's first game at the Marion Mayhem, Loomis stated that the team would continue to play despite its mounting financial struggles. The Mayhem, who were having financial problems of their own, forced the Firehawks' next game back to June 12. Week 11 vs. Cincinnati Commandos The Firehawks continued their season the following week against the undefeated Commandos, losing 46-49 after leading by 12 with 4, 12 left in the game. Week 12 vs. Marion Mayhem the team was scheduled to the Mayhem the next week, but before they played the Firehawks, the franchise folded. The folding of Marion credited the Firehawks with two forfeit wins, but hurt the team financially by costing them a home game. Because the Mayhem didn't finish the season, 
several of Marion's players were signed by Fort Wayne in the subsequent weeks to join in the Fire Hawks playoff run. Week 14, vs. Chicago Cardinals. The Fire Hawks went to Chicago and shoot out the Cardinals 48-0. The Fire Hawks finished 6-4 during the 2010 Continental Indoor Football League season, earning a third seed in the playoffs. Postseason schedule. Postseason results. Semifinals vs. Wisconsin Wolfpack Hack Wolfpack. In the first playoff game in team history, the Firehawks lost to the second place Wolfpack 25 24. Stats Passing <laughs> Rushing Receiving <laughs> Siffle Awards is -z -z Awards Co Defensive Player of the Year Tramaine Billy Special Teams Player of the Year Mike Totham also played with the Marion Mayhem during 2010 season first team all Siffle. W.R. Justin Wynn, L.B. Tramaine Billy, K.R. Mike Totham, second team all Siffle, C. Anthony Harrison, to Broderick Johnson, to Thomas McKenzie also played with the Marion Mayhem during 2010 season, D.B. Paul Carter,